to another episode of Two Guys in the Kitchen. I'm Bruce Brandle. And I'm Jason Yoakum. Welcome to episode number three. So, this is going to be a Two Guys take on Thanksgiving. We are doing a turkey. Turkey breast. We're doing a turkey breast skin on. We are going to do a cranberry chili glaze on it. It is going to be right to the belly. We're going to do a homemade stuffing. And we are taking regular mashed potatoes and we are going to throw some horseradish. Let's get up a notch. We are. Yeah. We are going to yeah, bang this we're gonna throw Billy it Goat. Yeah. We're going we're to do cheddar, <clears throat> horseradish, and some uh, pancetta. Pancetta. Oh, right yes. on top. This is going to be right to the belly. Then we're going to throw a little veggie in there. We're going to throw asparagus. We're going to wrap it in prosciutto mm. and throw some parmesan on top of it. And bake that up. So till, till then, or in a few minutes, we'll get going. All right. Happy eats. Happy eats, guys. All right, so Jay's going to take us through Julie's famous stuffing. This one is going to take just a little bit longer than usual. What happens is you got to start this about a week in advance. You're going to take two garlic loaves, and you're going to split them and quarter them up into like one-inch chunks. And then you're going to, you know, this is what it's going to look like right here. Because you got to let it sit out and let it dry, almost in like croutons. And what, what, what all that color in the, it, coloring in there is, we have poultry seasoning, we have ground thyme, we have sage, and we have what's called Bell's, uh, Bell's seasoning. You're going to put one tablespoon in a piece. You're going to do salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. The more the better. If it tastes, if you taste test it and it tastes really strong, don't worry about it because everything else that goes into it will dull it off. So the stronger the better right at the beginning. So after that, we're going to do two bags of Arnold stuffing. One, the red one, seasoning. The green one is an herb seasoning. So take those off and put them right in. Now, guys, don't be afraid to use, like, Dale's onion bagel or whatever. You can use really anything you want, whatever you like the it best. It comes together. As long as you match the seasonings to a recipe that's going to be on Facebook, you'll be A-OK. -okay. So after that, all your dry ingredients are together. You're going to start with the chicken stock. Just want to mix the croutons and, and the dill All the seasoning bread. together. You want that really, really in there. Oh, look at that. I wish you guys could smell this, actually. I just stuck a little crouton. Did, <coughs> did you? Yeah. Winner, winner, <laughs> time dinner. I mean, this smells great. It really does. You get you get the burst of garlic. You get the burst of uh, sage. This is good stuff. So you're going to do about one and a half of these. So we got one in there. Mm. That's about one and a half. That works. This is really good. Alright, let's get this all just mixed together really quickly. We still have a couple of other things to do really quickly with this. We're going to, you know, heat up some butter, saute a little butter and onions and pour that over on top of this. And then we'll be ready. Believe it or not, this is really simple. It's just a little prep time in the beginning. Waiting. Waiting yeah, time. It is. And that's it. Alright, we're back. What I, had, what I did was started to saute the butter and the onions together. We took two sticks of butter, a half a large onion, mm -hmm. we put it all together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, got it all together. Oh, that looks great. Look at that. We're going to pour that right over the top. If we had smell -a vision it would smell like uh, awesome. Oh, look at that. It smells great, dude. Oh, this stuff is going to be good. This stuff oh is always good. Every year, my wife makes this. It's a really thick yeah, stuffing. It's a, it's a diesel yeah. stuffing. It's a guy's stuffing. Guys. Guys. Guys, it's a guy's stuffing. I mean, if you want, you know, you can throw sausage in with it. You but just want you know. to work in here a little bit. Oh, the smell is amazing. So what I'm going to do... This is all mixed. Bruce is going to start getting on the turkey. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make basically like a loaf on 
some aluminum foil and put it all together and what we'll do we'll put it in at the same time as the turkey because we can just let it cook the same time and that will be it it will come right out the same time the turkey does I really wish you guys could smell this so what I'll do I just get in it here I'll move this over here all right. So what he's making is he's making a loaf of the, the, the stuffing on a piece of foil. Look at that. It's like, like that. Mount Vesuvius of tastiness. Fold it over. Yeah, fold it. You little origami ninja. Oh, first one's done. I want to eat that by myself. Got tons here. I mean... We can feed a small army with all this. But I mean, it'll go really fast. You guys will get into it and you'll just keep taking more and more. You can actually, this stuff cooks really, really thick. You can actually almost, you know, cut it like a loaf of bread. Like a loaf, yeah. I wish you guys could really smell it. It, it smells like. Uh, Have been? Fergie thing. Uh, I don't know. America's beautiful, probably. That's what I guess. Alright, we got the stuffing going. Now we're going to work on our turkey breast. What I'm going to do is again, you can see it's a skin on turkey. That's clutch. Because you're going to want to cut back the skin. Because what we're going to do is we're going to place butter pads right in to the breast. Cover it back up with the skin and then we'll glaze it. So on every stick of butter you have one tablespoon, two tablespoon, three tablespoon, blah 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 blah. I got a lot. So we're gonna do one done. Two done. Three done and four tablespoons done. Now you're going to take the, there you go, look at this, Jason's like a butter ninja. You're going to want to put that underneath the skin. Go ahead. And you're going to just put this back over. It's not a seal, it's not like saran wrap, it's not sealed. You're just going to want to keep it there. That's going to keep your turkey moist. So, the butter is done. Now, this is the what is it? Pizis de Restaurant? <laughs> I, I can't speak. Pizis de Restaurant. Ah, Gargle Factory. Yes, yeah, you learn that. Alright, so we're gonna do we're gonna chop up some habaneros. Seeds and all. You're gonna want it. We got an orange one in. So we got a, a green. Alright, so you're doing about one full habanero, one half um, green habanero. Seeds and all, they're going to be in. You're going to want this because. We're going to add sugar, salt, and uh, pepper, like black pepper, not pepper pepper. <laughs> so, you're going to break it up. That's in. Now, key is, guys, as soon as you cut your habanero and your green chili, you're going to want to wash your hands. All right, so we're going to add a tablespoon of sugar. That's it. We're going to add a can of whole cranberry sauce, not cranberry jelly. This is cranberry sauce. It comes in a can. It has the whole cranberries. We're adding it. That's in. So, now, we have everything, as you can see, it's laying on top of the chilies. 
black pepper, two shakes, kosher salt, three shakes, in, and we are going to grab a fork, your preference, um, your preference, fork or whisk, I prefer fork, you're mixing it all together. You want this to blend together. You want the heat from the peppers and the sweetness from the sugar and the sourness from the cranberry to come together. So, you're whipping it all together. Go ahead. Oh, we got some pepper flakes. A whole much. People. But, you know, it's Jay, it's not that too much. It's not that too much. Uh, yeah, I'm from Buffalo. English English is a uh, second language. That would give it a really nice kick because all the sweetness in the cranberries and the In the sugar. Exactly. And it bakes in. So, we're going to whip this all up. Make our sweet chili glaze. Alright. I, I have to try it. Oh man. Is that good? That is oh, right. That is right to the belly. To the toes. To the toes, man. You got the savoriness of the turkey. It's really good. It's really good. Really good. So now. I'm not a hot person either. <clears throat> That's really good. You catch it right at the end. Yeah. Yeah. In in the fat the fat of the skin, it'll be fine. So, what we do. We're in there. You want to move that over to the... Yep, I will. And, and, and this part is mildly messy. But you're going to take it. Now remember the butter that we put into the turkey? You're going to work this glaze all around the turkey and under the skin that we put the butter and basically you're just going to want to see as m minimal white as possible and then we'll move it over to the baking dish all this stuff grab it and you're just going to fill in the white spots that's done that's going to go 350 in the oven for about an hour. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do uh, about 15 minutes per pound. So it's gonna, yeah, gonna be right about an hour. And what we'll do, we'll do the stuffing. We're gonna throw that in at the same time. All right, we are back, and we are gonna make some kick-ass smashed potatoes. Smash, smash. What? Yes, smash. We're smashing them. Crazy. So, boil these for about 15. Yeah, 15 minutes. About 15 minutes. These are a medley of potatoes. You can buy them at your local grocery store. They come blue, red, blah, 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 blah. It's a rainbow. You can use Yukon Golds. You can use anything you want. If you want like the skins off, take the skins off. We like, actually, these are really thin skins. So we like to keep them on. We do. Yes, we do. So, regular potato masher. There's no blender. We're just mashing it. That's it. Work it in. This literally takes guys you want the skins on its flavor this takes about two minutes to do everybody's like oh you gotta buy pre-mashed that's horseshit you want this it's always better to make it homemade it ah, just tastes that much better the skin on the flavor's there spin the pot up uh, make sure you have granite countertops if you have four mic or something like that it's gonna oh. melt so this pot is hot. Yeah, this is this is right off the oven, so you really do not want for Mica uh, countertops. So we are hand smashing. Thanks, Matt. Hand smashing. So 
we're hand smashing it. So you're going to get the skin, you're going to get the flavor of every potato from uh, the potato medley blend. It happens. We're smashing it. You know, stuff flies over. Casualties of war. Hey, what are you going to eat that? So, what we'll do, he's kind of about, you know, probably about 50% down. We'll start adding some liquid ingredients. Add it in. Got a half cup of milk. Milk. Whole milk. Good stuff. Here we go. Here, stick of butter. What I did, I fried up some pancetta. Now, the pancetta we used is a pre-cut, cubed pancetta from Boar's Head. Outstanding. Quick, simple, you don't have to fry it individually stripped. One stick of butter. I just thought it would be easier this way so it melt in nice and easily. Oh yeah. So, now, say what? <laughs> A pinch it up! So, now, your, your mixing technique is going to switch. It's not going to be the downward smashing motion to break the potatoes. You're going to twist it. You're going to smash, twist, smash, twist. Smash, Ooh, twist. Ooh, I almost got a little... Mm -hmm. Smash, twist. He's going to keep doing that. I'm going to put in a quarter cup of sour cream. But ow! Oh, oh, it. oh, it's awesome. So... Smash and twist, and you're blending it. I mean, we're talking true time here, so you're seeing it's taking minutes to do all of this. And you're going to get an awesome color, an awesome flavor. So you're going to smash and, and twist, and now we're going to add the horseradish. And now the the thing to the horseradish is, oh, I keep getting a little drawer job. You know what I mean. So, <laughs> for the kick, two tablespoons. This is uh, it's called the farmer's. It's a, it's a prepared horseradish. You know, if you want to do it yourself, it just takes time to prepare it yourself, taking it off the root. So we're gonna do two tablespoons. There's one. There's two. And again, smash twist. Done. You're working it. You're twisting it. You're just going to have a, a more homemade, authentic product. It's going to be a little lumpy. Oh, it's really good. That's what I'm talking about. Half a cup of cheddar. What is that? I'm not ready for that. Almost. You getting you cramped? You getting cramped? Uh, I've been married for a while, so this hand's a little mm -hmm. dead. Go ahead, add, add the cheddar. Sprinkle it around half a cup. There you go. And again, smash twist. Smash and twist. Smash and twist. That's it. Twisty, you twisty, twisty. You smash it down, and you twist. So we're going to start with asparagus without Bruce. A lot of people don't know this. You know, when you do asparagus, you kind of just tap, and that's how you find the end. Because you never really cook the end. The ends are hard, and they just never, just never work for you. So you just go down until it sinks through. You can actually do a couple. Work down right through them. What we're going to do, we're going to wrap these suckers in prosciutto. Drizzle them with a little olive oil. We'll actually take one of these. Go ahead and lay it out. Wrap them in prosciutto. Laying them on a cookie wrap so you can let all the uh, Juices and everything fall through. Yeah, I finally got done wrapping the, uh, the asparagus in the uh, prosciutto. So what we're going to do is just sprinkle a little bit of olive oil on it. Mm. Now that, that looks unbelievable. A little bit of olive oil that we're going to hit it with some, have a block of Parmesan that grated a whole bunch up. I'm going to hit it really quick. That, let that cook over. What I'm going to do right now is this is going to go in, the stuffing's coming out. The stuffing's been in for almost 50 minutes, so that should be good. There's no egg product or anything in that, so it's just, 
you know, get get it hot and get it to stick together. So that's that's going to be your asparagus wrapped prosciutto. Uh, let's see, asparagus wrapped prosciutto with your Parmesan olive oil. So you know, in uh, in our segment, we always like to do a beer segment. You know, for Thanksgiving this time, we're gonna. Uh, I chose a shipyard pumpkin ale. Love shipyard pumpkin. You know, this is probably the only pumpkin beer that is a really good pumpkin beer. Nice light. It has a subtle taste of pumpkin. You know, so it's not overpowering. Uh, you can drink this stuff all night long. Bruce is gonna do something a little different. This is something special. You can't even get this anymore. This came out earlier this summer. We've been saving this thing for like the past six months. Go ahead, you can go play with that one. Well, we have a Dogfish Head Pearl Jam 20. This this is Dogfish Head's tribute to Pearl Jam 20th anniversary. It's called a Faithful L. It's brewed with currants. It's really gonna make a great mark on our turkey, our cranberry, our horseradish, and uh, our stuffing. You want to crack that sucker? Oh, yeah, let's scissor it. Let's scissor it. There you go, dude. It's up. Can we... I mean, this is one of their beers. I mean, if you're lucky to have one, you know, save oh. it. Let it sit for a little bit. We let, like I said, we let this one sit for six months. Six, yeah, six months. Now, now, trust me, before the six months, we what? Downed how many? Take a sip of that. Really nice. Oh, that's smooth. Right? That's really smooth. That is really smooth. That's dangerous. That's a dangerous beer right there. Now, this, this beer, and again with uh, Jay's uh, Shipyard Pumpkin Ale, everything's going to bring the Thanksgiving uh, taste together. But, it's our choice. Yeah, so these are did. our choices for this show. So here we have it. Here's our end product. Here is our Thanksgiving dinner for the single guy or for the for the family guy who wants to make something quick and easy for Thanksgiving. You have the stuffing. You have the mashed potatoes with the uh, uh, with the pancetta, yep. cheddar, and horseradish. Horse Got your great turkey breast that Bruce made with the uh, cranberry and pepper glaze. You got the asparagus with the prosciutto. And the Parmesan, oh, the smells in here are just crazy. If you if you pan back there, Matt, for us, he's just gonna he's gonna tear the sucker up. Oh, they're 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 so good. They, the flavor on this, the prosciutto is it, nice and hard on it. Unbelievable. But but you're talking the whole meal, uh, hour, hour and a half. half. Yeah. The turkey takes four hours. No no no. Yeah. yeah. Turkey breast. No no no. A uh, turkey. Oh. A turkey takes four hours. Yeah, a whole turkey. Yeah, we're talking, you get the same flavor. Well, you don't get the same mm -hmm. flavor. Do you? That's a different flavor on there. That's a better flavor. I that like is, that. That, that's that's a, just a, you know, you saw me pour a buttload of pepper flakes in there, but you know ah, what? The sweetness melted the everything sugar. down. It's really good. Believe it or not, you will not be sorry to do that. No, that... That that's solid. I mean, you're you're taking three hours off your time of cooking with the breast and getting about what? Double the flavor. Double, Double the flavor. flavor. Oh, oh, pepper. Ah, yes, you are. Double me. What? So here is our rendition. Hope you like it. Please try it. You will not be sorry. Happy eats. Happy eats. Right to the toes.